Hey, so tonight is my husband's golf league night, which lucky for me, this is my night to eat popcorn. So I thought I would show you how I make popcorn. And um, I thought this was kind of funny because a little while ago I was making popcorn for some friends and they had it and they're like, this is the best popcorn. And I'm like, well, doesn't everybody make it this way? And they're like, mm -mm, this is so good. So I want to show you how I make popcorn, even though, you know, there's all these other ways you can do it, like a um, air popper, which is probably the healthiest alternative to making popcorn. Um, there's stir crazy popcorn popper. Those actually taste really good, but they're, they're so big. I just don't like keeping them in my kitchen. Um, and then there's microwave popcorn. Uh, um, and you know, I'm just going to show you how to make popcorn and all you need is this, just a pot. So you want to use a heavy pot and this is a pot that I use because I know what I make in this is going to be all that I need to eat. I could use a bigger pot, but that just means I'm going to eat more popcorn. So you, that's how I gauge it. And I don't necessarily measure out anything. This is really how I do it. So I start with my pot. I'm going to turn the burner on high and then I like to use corn oil, but you don't have to use corn oil. You could use vegetable oil and I just pour enough in just to cover the bottom of the pot. So, you know, just enough to cover the bottom and then I'm just going to put in enough popcorn to cover the bottom of the pot. So, you know, I'm just going to sprinkle it in. It's pretty much filled the whole bottom. So just put the cover on it, leave it sitting here for a little bit. And while you're doing that, you can run around and get like your butter, get your bowl to put the popcorn in. And as soon as we hear one kernel pop, then we're going to start shaking it. So um, while that's all happening, I'll just tell you, I've got a couple of different kinds of popcorn. And my favorite popcorn is Ellie Mays, which comes from Iowa. And I like it because it's the white popcorn and the kernels are kind of small and it's just it's just what I love the most. Um, there's also, uh, yellow corn fit pop is in the town next door grows this which is kind of cool to get local popcorn like this but um that's not so much my favorite is the white pop oh it's already starting to pop so now that it's starting to pop we're just going to shake it and um that's all there is to it so just be careful doing this that you know, you got the right size burner, the cover doesn't get too hot, you might need pot holders. Um, I don't know, it's already smelling so good. Oh, I love popcorn. I eat it probably too much. Um, how do you know when the popcorn's done? It's just gonna stop popping. You know, you can tell it's less and last I mean, it doesn't take very long to do this that's it pop a couple more pops we're done shut the burner off and i'm just going to put this right into my wooden popcorn bowl that i've had for a really long time oh dear i have popcorn burning on the burner whoopsie Oh my, get off there. Ah, that doesn't smell too good. Okay, so got my popcorn here in the bowl. Um, now, how, what are you gonna put on it? Well, I always have to put butter on it. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but it's my dinner tonight, so I feel like I can get away with putting butter on it. All right, so I just throw butter right into the pot, even though there's some popcorn still in there here okay. and um, just going to melt that down right in the same pot and then I'm going to put my 
favorite new thing on popcorn now is this nutritional yeast that I got from Trader Joe's. It's so good. So I put that on there. I also sprinkle on some popcorn salt. Certainly don't need that, but it's like I've got this special little tray that I use for my popcorn. And then sometimes when I get down to about, I don't know, a quarter of the popcorn left in my bowl, I take out this kettle corn that I shake on there. So it's almost like I make dessert popcorn. Okay, so we've got our butter and I have actually burned the butter and for not paying attention. So what do you do in that case? You throw it out and you melt some new butter. All right, so now I'm just gonna put on my newly melted butter. We can't have burnt butter on popcorn. This is too important of a dinner to be messing up. Okay, so I've got my butter. Here's the salt. And my new favorite thing, which, oh my gosh, I'm almost out of, is nutritional yeast. This is from Trader Joe's, but I think a lot of places carry this. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like cheese. How is that possible? But, ah, so good. This is like mm, my favorite dinner. Hope you enjoy.